Why, hello. Uh, this is 8.3 Surface Area Pyramids. I'm your host, Mr. Berlin. The following is the notes for this page here. You can also use your textbook to help you, uh, especially to view our images a little bit better. These are a little bit more difficult than the prisms we saw the other day because you'll notice that a, pr a pyramid here will all converge on a point on the top of its shape. It will create a lot of triangles in our scenario here, so we have to be a bit careful. If you take a look at example number one, you'll see a square pyramid. Since the bottom is a square, and it converges up to a point up top. We're going to follow a very similar process to the first day where we will list all of our faces. Usually our prisms the other day mostly had six faces, some may have had five. Uh, you got to be careful here, this one's going to have four faces, the bottom and four sides going around that are triangles. So I'm going to start with the bottom since that's the easiest shape. The bottom is a square and we notice it's seven by seven so its area is 49. And taking a look at our side here, which I just drew in red, we're going to have triangles. And you'll actually notice that all the sides are the same. So we can actually start to do a little abbreviations here. We're going to call this all sides, as opposed to list listing each one separately. Because they are the same in this one, they're not always, but they are in this one. We know the bottom, the base is 7, and the height is 10. So our area will be 1 half times base times height, which an easier version will probably do half of 10 first. 5 times 7 is 35. But we don't just have one side, we have all sides. There are four of them. So taking our 49 for the base, I'm going to add my left side, which is 35 right side which is 35, front 35, and back 35. Adding all them up, I will be getting 189 meters squared. That's what we have for our first one here. If you need to pause the video, you can before moving to the second one. Here in our second shape, we actually have a triangular prism since the bottom base, which I'll color in green, is now a triangle. This one's more difficult. I have four faces here, all of which are triangles. This is usually a little bit hard to visualize, but we'll just break it down again. We're going to look at the bottom, which is clearly the shape of a triangle. If you look carefully, I'm darkening in the base of that triangle, which is six, and its height, which I'll now put a one line in, it says an arrow to it, it's 5.2. So using our area here, our area is 1 half times the base times the height. So our area is half of 6 is 3 times 5 and 2 tenths. And if you multiply that correctly, we're going to get 15 and 6 tenths. So the area of the bottom is 15 and 6 tenths. If we look at our, if we look at, I guess, our side here, our color in red, it could be the right side, could be the front, depending on viewing it. It is also a triangle. Its bottom base, which I'll darken, is 6. Its height is 8. So I'm going to follow my triangle formula again. 1 half times the base, which is 6, times the height, which is 8. Half of 6 is 3, times 8. The area is 24. My other face, my left side, is also a triangle, same exact dimensions. My back base is also a triangle. My back face is also a triangle, same dimensions. So this one has a bottom, which we found is 15.6, added to the right, which is 24, left with a 24, and the back, which is 24. Notice this only has three, three faces going around as opposed to four. If you add those up, you're going to be getting 87 and 6 tenths feet squared. I would pause the video at this time if you need to, and then you might be ready to go to the back. And on our back, you're going to be trying three of them on your own. Notice the first one is a square pyramid, as we saw in the first example. 
The second one is, we didn't see, it's a rectangular pyramid, so be a little bit careful. They do leave a note there that all the sides are not the same, so you have to be drawing them a little more individually. And the last one is the triangular py pyramid with a whole lot of triangles in it. Wish you good luck. We'll see you tomorrow.